Hurling the Flag, the Battle of the Alamo, Texas, 1836, the land of the brave, where a heroic stand against tyranny was about to be etched in history. The Alamo, a mission-turned-fortress, stands tall. It's here where the spirit of courage would echo for eternity. The Mexican army, under the command of General Santa Ana, descends upon the Alamo. Outnumbered and outgunned, 200 Texan defenders are pitted against 2,000 Mexican soldiers. But the Texan resolve is mountainous, refusing to bow to the overwhelming odds. William Travis, the commander of the Alamo, realizes the dire situation. Yet, he doesn't flinch. He draws a line in the sand, inviting those willing to stand and fight. Every man steps across, ready to face the onslaught. The dawn of February 23 sees the Mexican army laying siege to the Alamo. It's a chilling start, cannon fire echoing through the morning fog. The defenders hunker down, waiting, watching, their resolve unbroken. Days turn into nights, and the bombardment continues. The imposing walls of the Alamo shudder, but do not crumble under the relentless assault. Within them, the defenders stand firm, their determination unwavering. Among the defenders is Davy Crockett, a legendary frontiersman. With his famed long rifle, he rallies the men, his words imbuing them with strength. They are Texans, he roars, and Texans never back down. As the siege enters its tenth day, the Mexican army prepares for a final assault. It's a moonless night, the perfect cover for their impending attack. Inside the Alamo, the sense of impending doom looms, yet the defenders hold their ground. The early morning of March 6, the final assault begins. Wave after wave of Mexican soldiers storm the Alamo. The defenders, despite their fatigue, fight back fiercely, their bravery unparalleled. Travis is one of the first to fall, but his sacrifice only stirs the defenders' resolve. They retaliate with a renewed vigor, the air filled with the sounds of gunfire and cries of men fighting for their freedom. Crockett and his men, undeterred by the overwhelming numbers, hold their positions. They fight tooth and nail, their bravery outshining the adversity. Crockett himself is a force to reckon with, his shots finding their marks, his spirit unbreakable. In the end, the Alamo falls, but not before its defenders inflict heavy casualties upon the Mexican army. The battle, though lost, becomes a symbol of resistance and courage, a testament to the spirit of the Alamo defenders. The news of the Alamo's fall spreads like wildfire, igniting a spark of rebellion throughout Texas. Remember the Alamo becomes a rallying cry, driving the Texans towards their fight for independence. The Battle of the Alamo, though a military defeat, becomes a moral victory. It serves as a constant reminder of the cost of freedom and the unwavering spirit of those willing to fight for it. Each brick of the Alamo today whispers tales of bravery, tales of men who chose to stand their ground against insurmountable odds. The echoes of their valor continue to resonate, reminding us of the true essence of courage and sacrifice. This is the story of the Battle of the Alamo, a timeless tale ingrained in the heart of Texas. It is a saga of unwavering courage and indomitable will, a testament to the human spirit's resilience. The Alamo stands today, not as a symbol of defeat, but as a beacon of bravery. It is a shrine of Texas liberty, a monument to the very concept of freedom. It continues to inspire, its history a beacon of courage and resilience. So, remember the Alamo. Remember the defenders who stood tall against the odds, choosing to fight rather than surrender. Remember their bravery, their sacrifice, their resolve. Let the Battle of the Alamo be a reminder that freedom isn't free. It comes at a cost. It requires bravery and sacrifice. And as history shows, it's a cost worth paying. For the spirit of the Alamo lives on. It lives in every Texan heart, every American soul. It lives as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the will to stand up against injustice, the courage to fight for freedom. The Battle of the Alamo was more than just a battle. It was a stand, a stand for freedom, a stand for liberty, a stand for a people's right to choose their destiny. And it's this stand that we remember today. We remember not the defeat, but the courage, not the fall, but the fight, not the end, but the spirit that lives on. Unfurling the flag, the Battle of the Alamo. It's a story of bravery against odds, a story of sacrifice for freedom, a story that continues to inspire. It's a story we must never forget. So, remember the Alamo, remember the courage, remember the sacrifice, remember the spirit.
For it's this spirit that defines us, that drives us, that makes us who we are. Thank you for joining us on this historic journey. As we part, let the story of the Alamo remind you to stand tall, to be brave, and to fight for what you believe in. After all, it's the spirit of the Alamo that lives within us all.